it's It's a story you may have seen yesterday on New Center Main at 530. Our verified team confirming there is a form of insulin available at Walmart for less than $25. Yeah, it's something that has a lot of people talking on Facebook. Megan writes, what really bothers me about this is that it's available without a prescription. Insulin is a very dangerous drug if not taken appropriately. Mercedes says, unfortunately, as many have stated, not all insulin is the same, nor does it work the same for every diabetic. And Aaron writes, I used it for gestational diabetes because insurance was ridiculously high for name brand. This isn't as good though. And as one viewer wrote to us directly, it's not the solution, she says, to high insulin prices for everyone. And she's encouraging everyone to look further than the headlines. So tonight we're digging a little deeper. Brenna Youngblood's three-year-old son Gabe was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was just a year old. His medications cost hundreds of dollars a month. Fortunately for the Youngblood family, insurance covers most of the cost. Youngblood reached out to New Center Maine following a recent story confirming there is a version of insulin available at Walmart for $25 called Rely on Insulin. It's a little frustrating. But the insulin doesn't work with all diabetics, especially in her son. It peaks at a certain time of day, and as anybody with children can verify, um, kids don't always want to eat the same thing, the same carb count at the same time every day. They're older insulin, so they definitely are less less prescribed. Uh, they're only available as vial and syringe, and you know, most patients these days tend to use insulin pens or you know, for, for type 1, you know, certainly a lot of our patients are on insulin pumps. Dr. Richard Siegel of Tufts Medical Center in Boston serves patients in Maine via telemedicine. He says while Relyon is an older version of insulin, it's something he prescribes. It still help get to get blood sugar down. I mean, it still needs you know the all the usual monitoring. But people need to be familiar with what how these older insulins work. Patients on Relyon may need to monitor their blood sugar a little more closely, and the timing of the dose is different compared to modern insulins. Dr. Todd Hobbs, the chief medical officer at Novo Nordisk Incorporated, which makes Relyon, says, quote, the difference in the types of insulin is related to how slowly or rapidly they are absorbed once injected. Scientific advances over the years have made improvements on the speed and length of time this absorption occurs. Brenna Youngblood says the regiment of using the older insulin is something that would not work for her son. If he were on this insulin and he, if he had to eat the same thing at noontime every day, and then he decides he doesn't want to eat at noontime, he could potentially have a very dangerous low blood sugar. And says the need for lower insulin prices is urgent, despite what we may read in the headlines. Oh, there's a $25 insulin at Walmart, so these people who want their $600 vial of insulin are just being picky when it's not true. It's Insulin isn't just insulin, it's all medication. What works for one person might not work for somebody else, and I think people need to be more open-minded to that. And medical experts say any insulin should be used under the direction of a doctor. And in case you missed our story yesterday, in summary, since 2000, Walmart has sold Rely on Insulin, the only private insulin brand on the market, retailing at $24.88 per vial, according to a Walmart spokesperson. It comes in Rely on Novolin Regular, Rely on Novolin NPH, and Rely on Novolin 7030 Mix. Now, in November last year, Walmart launched the Rely on Novolin 7030 Insulin Pen. The cash price for a pack of five of those pens is $42.88 compared to $300 for the brand name option.